Okay, uh, year 11, back to the ripple tank. What we're going to have a look at this time is what happens whenever waves change direction due to a change in depth in the tank. Um, and this is an effect called refraction. And what we're going to use this time is this um, perspex sheet. And this doesn't act as a barrier, so it's not reflection that's going on. Just turn the lights on there, get a little bit of a better view. There, you can see that perspex sheet sitting in the ripple tank there. And the idea is that the water just about covers it over, which isn't happening just at the minute. But I'm going to pour some more water over it. So that is it in position there. So the water just about covered over that perspex sheet. But the point is, where the water gets over the sheet, it's very, very shallow and it increases friction whenever waves pass over it, which causes a change in speed. And we'll see what effect that has. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch our view to looking at the bottom, uh, to looking at the, the shadow of the waves again. And I'll just turn the lights off so we can uh, see this a bit more clearly. Okay, so there we go. Um, so what we're interested in here is this. Uh, so here the water is relatively deep, and at this point um, it, it passes over the perspex sheet and the water in here is shallow. Now I'm going to send a couple of waves down and see if we can see any impact this has. A wee bit tricky to see there. I'm going to turn the motor on and see if we can see a pattern here. Okay, so we've got the motor setting and we can see the waves coming up in here. Now at this point, um, they're still in the deep water, which means they're still traveling relatively fast. Let's move that a little bit closer there. But when they hit the barrier here, they slow down. Now, when they slow down, the waves should get a little bit closer together because they bunch up a bit. So I'm just going to try and show you this a bit more clearly right underneath that there. A little bit trickier to see. Um, but we'll, we'll do a few diagrams which, um, which point that out more clearly. But we're looking for the, the waves to bunch up a little bit. They get closer together because as they go over into the more shallow region, and here they can't travel as fast, and they just get a little bit closer together. Right, and what we're going to look at next is the original... Um, when I used the sheet originally, I put this straight edge first. Whereas what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn this around. And this has got um, a, a, an edge at an angle. And we're just going to see what effect we can see when this goes in. So just want that covered over and no more. So now we have this is a boundary between the deep water and the shallow water. This is the shallow water in here where the waves are going to go more slowly. This is a deep water here. And now the, the boundary between the two is at an angle. So I'm just going to set up a few waves. We'll send down one or two individually. Now what we're looking for is a change in direction. And that effect is called refraction. What we did in the, the earlier video was we looked at waves reflecting off a surface. Um, this is a different effect called refraction. And refraction is when the waves, they keep going over that surface, but they change direction. And you can almost see it there. 
just when I'm, I'm dabbing that one one bit at a time. Um, but I'll turn the motor on and see if we can see um, anything once I have uh, several waves going along. So this is, you can hear the motor going. We've got lots of waves coming down at, at the one time. I'll bring us a little bit closer here. So a wee bit hard to see. What we're looking for is as the waves go over that edge, there's a change in direction. So we're looking for at this point here, the waves go along, they keep going over, but because they hit that boundary between deep and shallow, uh, there's a bit of a change of direction. It's a little bit tricky to see, uh, but just to show you what we're looking for, and then what we're going to do is we'll put up a couple of there's some clips um, and, and diagrams that hopefully will make this a bit clearer for you.